Oh. Trouble is, it's pushed out. What have we got here? What you got going on? So I just got the truck done out there. Had to uh, put in a new axle housing bearing. Mm -hmm. And I had to repair the axle housing where the bearing goes in. It slid out, seized up so much that it actually wore up through the housing. Excuse me. Oh shit. Yeah. Right. Go after this. Yeah, that one took a while. <laughs> right, the axle up, bend it all back, work a couple beads on it, grind it down, fit it to fit the bearing. Is that Sonoma? Oh, God. But it's working great, doesn't leak. Went out and put about 10 miles on it. Perfect. Any more progress on this? Yeah, it's starting to come tomorrow's floor out. Just want to wait until the damn floor panel gets in here to find out how long, how far. Where it all goes. Yeah, it's gonna be fun attaching it because this side's a fork or where it's supposed to lay on the lip. There was no lip there. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah. That's a tiny trans cooler. Got measurements off of it so I know where to put the hole for the cable and the shifter and all that. Read them out of it. Yeah. So this is Lloyd's newest Malibu. It's a back half big tire car. Just a small block in it right now. But the floors, they only saw one spot that was bad and pulled the carpet up and there's a few spots so they're just replacing the whole floor. It is four linked. Yeah, we gotta mess with the rear end a little bit. The four link geometry is a just a little wonky. Um, a little? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think just a bar change and lengthen them so that it's square in there and it'll be all right. And then make a beefier pan hard bar. Redo the parachute mount so that it can come out and quit busting shins. You saw that it has a nine inch in it with the Speedmaster aluminum center section. Turbo 400, and then just a cute little 355. Yeah, and rubbing it into it needs an LS twin turbo. Got to redo the front suspension too, because it's basically on the bump stops right now. It's a good looking car though. So, we got to cut that so we can sleeve it so that this whole thing comes out. And while we're at it, we're also going to bring it in a little closer to the bumper, because that thing sticks out a freaking mile. It's zip tied, but so tempting. <laughs> what? I said, I'm just so tempted to go boof. It's open, I plugged it in. Yeah, because honestly, once we do that, we can just weld the parachute to that anyway. <laughs> since it would all be coming out. You mean weld the parachute to it? Weld that mount to this? No reason to have that on a pin if you're going to take the whole thing off. Alright, so it is about an inch and a half. There we go. We're going to take this with us to the store and try and find something that uh, fits inside it. Well, preferably a piece of steel that fits inside it. Yeah. Get a school bus. Make the back off. Flat bed. I'm down. Angle. Well, no luck here. Nope. Alright, so that was a no go. This piece is wedged over that other one. That way it just stops here so you don't see a bare hole. Yeah. And then you just slide that in, pop the pin in. Yeah. And turn it a little bit so it's centered with the hole. Yeah. Once it gets welded on. Oh shit, now I gotta get the piece out of there. <laughs> so I wanted to drill it while it's on here. Then when you put a pin in here, or put it up there, then drive it in, then weld it onto the thing. Yeah. That way you make sure you got it centered. I kinda, I don't know if I'm gonna get demonetized for showing this car's butthole like that. 
That's not right. I mean, this is a PG-13 channel, so I don't... What are you doing, Duke? Hey, you wanna try to do a cleaner wall job than I can? Uh. All right. Let's get this thing welded up. All right, got the parachute unbolted from it. Got this cleaned up a little bit. Just took a wire wheel to it. Should be good enough. Man, it has been probably like a month since I've welded. So this could be real bad. Hopefully it's not though. It's starting to get a little low. It's really not that bad. It's kind of a pain to get in the gooch there, but I got it. I'm just gonna grind this down so that it's smooth and it doesn't look like there was ever a hole drilled in the pipe. Uh, and then I'll splash a little bit of black on it and I think we'll probably call it a day. turned out pretty good got it all welded up got the holes filled and I think it looks like there was never a hole through it there's a dimple up here that I don't really understand unless that's where they started drilling the hole and realized it would be too high I don't know I'm not gonna pretend to know but the paint that I had laying around is the fucking wrinkle paint from the firewall of the Monte Carlo but like I said, I think all in all it turned out pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye.